Good morning, YouTube. So today we're back at it with another one. We're gonna be working on the yellow car. Um, I'm gonna pull it up where the truck is so that I have a flat spot to work. And yeah, we're just doing a quick oil pan gasket. And that's pretty much it. Probably gonna check the uh, oil pump nut, do a couple little maintenance things, make sure it's good to go and put it back together and uh, should be ready for the event. So I've been doing a little bit of testing on this thing and everything has been shaken down pretty well. So the, the main things I still have to do before the August event is get tires for the front, which I'm gonna put on the contours cause I'm trying to sell these wheels and then get tires for the rear for the 15s. I'm probably gonna end up either running the steelies I have cause those I can flip and make them have like a pretty aggressive uh, like reverse mounted steely look, which looks sick on E36s, but I'm not sure I'll be able to clear that with the fenders. So I'm gonna test fit those first. If not, then I will probably end up running the style twos or maybe even the style fives, we'll see. But um, gonna mess around with that. And uh, yeah, let me do a little shuffling of the cars and we'll get Alrighty, to work. So we got the car in the air, the oil is drained and I quick sprayed it with a bunch of degreaser to get it a little bit easier to work on. Um, just so I'm not fighting with globs of grease like caked around there. So now I gotta loosen up the pan, drop it down. Um, it is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt because the front subframe sits right where the front of the pan sits. And also the dipstick uh, runs all the way up and it's coming out of the pan. So I'm gonna see if it pops out easily down there, but I don't wanna mess up the grommet. So I might end up just unbolting it uh, from the intake and trying to sneak it down through. Um, so I don't have to deal with it leaking out of the O-ring once I replace everything Alrighty, else. Alrighty, so this oil pan job is a little bit more uh, work than I anticipated for today, but we have the pan down and it's sitting on the subframe right now, but there's not enough room to clear the, uh, to like get the pan out so right now what i'm doing is jacking up the engine and trans um hopefully i can get it like the inch or two up enough so that i can uh sneak the pan out and don't have to unbolt the front subframe because that would be a pain in the butt but um since we're already this far we gotta gotta keep grinding and get it done so um yeah i'm gonna keep wrenching and uh get back to you with uh what happens so many hours later and i have the pan out i thought it was going to be easy but it turns out you got to drop the subframe and yeah it's just a whole a whole thing so now i am currently taking the gasket off gonna put the new one on button everything back up and uh hopefully we have a non-leaking m42 so got everything all cleaned up under here the uh old gasket was stuck to the engine side and it was a nightmare to use a razor blade and sit there for like an hour or so uh carving all the gasket off but now what i'm gonna do is get the new gasket tacked onto there and then get it on the engine and uh tighten it up all right welcome back so it's another night we're working on the car again uh, last night I actually made a ton of progress, so let me let me show you what we're working with as of uh, right now. So I got the oil pan in. Um, what I did was I put some high temp gasket sealer, just like the the thinnest coating possible, and got everything tightened down. So let that cure overnight. Uh, I degreased everything while it was out of the car, so it looks nice and clean. Um, that's going to be nice when everything's back together and filled up with oil. Nice telltale sign if it's still leaking. If it is, it's probably the rear main, which we will tackle after the event, because at this point we just don't have time to drop the trans and all that again. Um, I don't want to be rushing for the event and it's not like it's pouring out a quart every time I drive it. It's like a quart every couple weeks. So, um, not the end of the world. And tonight's plan is to get the front subframe bolted back in, the steering rack, the control arm, and I think that's about it. So, um, shouldn't take super long, uh, fingers crossed. I know that's always like the last famous word. Something's bound to happen that's going to be a pain in the butt. But what's nice is it's actually earlier in the week than I expected to be wrapping this up. It's only Tuesday, so... Um, I've been grinding to get these videos out. Make sure to throw a like and a sub. Uh, makes it more worth it. 
and yeah um me and the bim are gonna get to work and try to grind this out quick so i'll update you as we go good along. morning youtube so we are back at it again working on the banana um so good news this morning uh i'm not sure how many clips i'm gonna include from the week but i've been fighting this subframe pretty much the whole week trying to get the get it back in so i can get everything back together um get it the rest of the way prepped for lock city but this morning i finally got it in so what was happening was uh somehow the car had shifted on the wheels uh in the time that i was doing the subframe so what happened was it pulled the whole subframe about an inch or two to the uh, passenger side so i had to get all of the pressure off of it from the engine um i had to disconnect the struts and i had to get the car up in the air so right now we have kind of a uh, uh a mess going with all the jacks but um Luckily, the subframe's in, so once I get that fully bolted down, which I have three of the four bolts in, um, then I'll be able to lower the engine down, bolt that on, bolt the steering rack to it, uh, bolt the suspension back up, and we're going to have a working E36 again. But um, I'm going to keep grinding on that, and I might... All right, so as you can see, me and Bim are on the, uh, the road here, so... Motherfucking homies